um, FEMA and the military, you know, in assisting, delivering meals, which is what he's been doing since day one. Um, so basically, that's what I need. Okay, okay. so why don't we do that? Uh, General Buchanan, can you maybe provide some numbers as to, you know, what's being done now in terms of delivering meals, how many towns, how many people, and, you know, what, what the next steps are? Well, Delivering meals, water. Our three priorities for delivery of aid has been fuel, meals, and and water. Okay. And uh, we're doing it all over the island. We're working predominantly uh, with the governor's office to to move things to the mayor's. But we're also every time we go somewhere, we're trying to take food and water in particular with us and deliver it. So what I'm tracking is this is as of yesterday, so it's a little a little bit stale, but more than two million one hundred thousand meals delivered uh, on the water side, one hundred seventy four thousand gallons of bulk water, and uh, about four million two hundred thousand uh, bottles of water. Are you getting to every right. town, or you know, I we're getting to every municipality, okay. but some muni let's take Otwato. Otuado, so yes, we're getting to Otuado, but if you look at Otuado on a map, very large, it's got remote villages all over, and so there are people who have not yet gotten much help, and that's what we're trying to be relentless getting them the help that they need. How quickly do you see that happening? I mean, uh, you know, it's gonna it, it's gonna improve every day. Uh, yeah, I've got now. Let me just give you another example. What stopped us early on for getting into the center of the island were roads that the roads were not clear. Now, much of the main roads are clear, but we know that there's still some roads that are not clear. Uh, but the problem is we don't have complete information. And so what, what I've asked my helicopter pilots to do is everywhere they fly, fly along the roads and look for blockages. When you find a blockage, record the grid coordinate so we can go back and send somebody there to clear it. And that'll help us get the, out there, you quicker. know. How many yeah. troops do you have on the ground and how many do you need? How many are coming? Right, so when I when I got here about 10 days ago, we had 4,100 troops on the ground and 25 helicopters. Right now we've got 66 helicopters and going up to 72, we've got 12,900 troops on the ground. And uh, that's probably going to increase some more too. Uh, what we need, you know, in the the types of troops that we were bringing, the three big things mm -hmm. are logistics, medical, and aviation. Aviation is almost all set. We've got a couple, about six more helicopters to in. The logistics is almost all set. The medical is still coming in. Okay. So we're going to put in three, in addition to the comfort, yeah, three, three big hospitals. You are, okay. One in uh, Omakao, mm -hmm. one in Kawas, and one in Awadia. Okay, are these floating hospitals? Or no, no, no. Just regular hospitals? So, one is a, uh, what we call a combat support hospital. It's okay. army. Okay. Self-contained, 44-bed hospital, generators and tents. Okay. That's going into Omakao. They started getting here last night, mm -hmm. and they should be set over the next couple of days, okay. ready to receive patients. Okay. The, and then in the next couple of weeks, you you see things stabilizing. In terms I do. Of, okay. You know they're they're getting you know honestly they're getting better and better every day, but that doesn't mean they're good. Okay. Thank you so much. Good I appreciate us. it.